Hey y'all, it's your girl Lolo. Today I am coming to you with a video that was requested by Under the Lily Shadow asking me about how I edit my pictures. The first thing that I want to talk about is the program that I use to edit my pictures and that is GIMP. GIMP is a free open source image manipulation program. That's the program that I use to edit the pictures. To get the program, what you have to do is go to their website, which is GIMP.org, and I'll put that in the description box of the video, and you will click on the download button, and you will go ahead and download and install that on your computer. Once you've downloaded and installed the program on your computer, it'll open up, and this is what GIMP looks like. Um, the first thing that you'll notice is that your toolbox opens up in a separate window. Um, I just want to go over the tools quickly. Um, the first set is the selection tools, which is how you will select the area of the image that you're manipulating. Um, the next one are the um, zoom and adjust. You can rotate, uh, scaling, um, that? flipping the picture, perspective all of those things and then the next set of tools are your actual drawing tools you can use text um, bucket fill gradient pencil brush eraser airbrush and um, calligraphy style painting different stamps and things of that nature the bottom half of your toolbox goes more into detail of the functions of each of the tools and it also allows you to have a tab for each tool that you would like to you know that you use frequently and you can just dock those there and quickly get to the functions of that particular tool that you are using this area is customizable um you can customize what tabs you have by default it has the options of each of the tool the technical options now to add a tab to the bottom half of your toolbox what you will do is you will click on this little arrow see it says configure this tab you'll click on that and you will click on add a tab and then here it will give you a list of the different tabs and I'm just going to go into the the tools that I use I mean there's so much stuff you can do with this program and to be perfectly honest I probably know like a quarter of it and there are other resources of course here on YouTube just search GIMP tutorials and there are a whole bunch of tutorials on how to do all kinds of crazy stuff with this program it's so much you can do with it that's why I like it um, but there are forums if you google GIMP there's game tutorials you'll find lots of forums that have people that actually um program because like i said it is open resource so you know the general public can add features to the program and you can download them if you're really techie um i know how to do that um so if you want a tutorial on more in-depth stuff you gotta let me know if I can I will lead you in the direction that you need to go to find out how to do it okay so anyway you can add um, the tabs that you want up here and I, I took away my brushes tab earlier trying to record see this is like the tenth time I've done this so yeah so I want to add a brushes menu over here in one of the tabs the special brush menu and you can see it doesn't have all of the options that this has like the opacity um, it does I think have no it doesn't have the scale it just has spacing it doesn't have all the details that are here in this tool and like I said that's how you add tabs to it and if you want to actually make that function you can drag it out into another separate window by just clicking on it and then dragging it and it'll pop out into a separate menu and then you just close it like that but anyway that's how you add the buttons click on the arrow click add tab and then choose the tab that you want to add so I'm going to add the brushes back Whew! this is going to be a long tutorial I'm so sorry okay so anyway what she was asking me was first how do you cut a picture out well the first thing that you have to know to um, 
make a picture that you can actually cut out easily is by taking the picture on a background that is like totally white so you open up the picture that you want to edit and I do want to show you one thing here too um, another tab a tool that I use a lot is the document history dialogue they're called dialogues but it's the actual tab um, so I use that a lot because you could scroll down through all the pictures that you've edited and pull up things there's certain things that I use like my blog watermark and I use them a lot so you can easily go back and open them up through the document history so let me find the picture that I actually use to cut out I'll choose this one okay and you see that my background is mostly white what I do is I use the fuzzy select tool which is a little magic wand looking thing and if you go into the tools you're gonna need this I'm not sure what the default is but you see down here this is called threshold and what this does is chooses how fine it will connect so when you click you see it chooses all of that area well that's everything that's selected okay and um, you just hold down your shift button to add to what you're taking off of the picture and you just click on another area and see now it's all that that is within those blinky lines so I want to add that and I'm still holding down my shift and add that and then go over here and add this and you see where all those black lines are that is very detailed of what it is not clicking so you just click in there until everything kind of gets drawn into the mix but now you see here I've taken out some of my fingers so some of my fingers is going to be missing so you have to undo that by going to your undo history I keep this tab open quite a lot and or you can hit control Z I also use my control keys quite a lot um, because it helps having to move around on the screen so you hold control Z you click on hold control and click Z and just keep going back until these lines go away so that's where everything started going bad so now holding down my shift key again to add I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna turn this threshold down just a little bit to like 10 so it's not as sensitive and I'm gonna also go in a little bit so I can see closer and to do that you hit the control button and you just roll your middle ball I'm rolling the middle ball it's much easier so now I want to go back to holding shift and add more and see now it's not going to really connect my hands into it because it's not as sensitive you gotta click more but it's okay and you see there's some stray dots out there and I just want to keep paying attention to if it is getting any of my skin or anything just keep on clicking 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 it's annoying but let's see things are still looking good and now I've got pretty much all of it out as you can see it looks like it's just around my hand so now what you want to do now invert what is selected to what my hand is and to do that you would click control I now what is selected is my hand okay now I'm gonna copy this so that I can put it into another image so to copy you'll just hit control C then you will open a new picture you'll create a new picture and I want this picture to be 1280 by 720 and I'm going to have it uh, the foreground color so you, I'll go into your advanced options and then click that you can either have foreground background white or transparency right now I want it to be the foreground color so there we have a new um, image 
and this is what we are going to create our poster our picture from in now when you put your picture into the new image well all you have to do is hit control V or image I'm sorry or edit paste now you see it's much bigger than the picture so you're going to scale it down to scale it down you just hit this button the scale tool has the window outside of the window so you click that and then this dialog box will pop up and it will allow you to edit the dimensions of the picture so I want to make it smaller so it'll fit inside so I'm going to hit my down arrows um, I do want to keep this click so that it stays the right proportion and I'm just clicking down and also there's a little cross here in the middle of it and you can move the picture where you want it like that and you see it's just my hand that came out so let's put this down some so we can see because it's moving really slow so I want to have it about a little bit smaller let me go down just a little bit more okay and that's about how big I want it and I'm gonna go ahead and position it where I want it and I'll just have it like coming out of the bottom like this and then what you'll do is go ahead and click scale now that we have the picture inside what I want to talk about is layers GIMP has the ability to work with many layers so you are able to place one picture in front of the another picture and that's how you can make a picture with an object that I cut out like my hand inside of another picture you know over top of something else and not just this black so the first thing that um, I want to do is show you how to create a layer and you do that by clicking on this little white box so now we have another layer and that automatically pasted the object that I just copied into this that's automatically on that layer now these little eyes that you see here these are on um, the visibility of the layers so if you click the eye and make it disappear then you won't see it you can change the order of the layers by clicking on these arrows the up and down arrows see I moved that below now you can't see it because it's below the back so what I want to do now is I want to make another layer to start making my um, background so I'm going to click on the layer that I want it to be on top of and click on the new layer now this dialog is going to pop up and um, this is how it's going to show up when you paste the, when you insert the layer you can either have it the foreground the background white or transparent if you're working on layers on top of layers you know you want the vis the background to be transparent so that you can see the layer behind it so that's what I'm going to choose when I'm doing new layers and you can name it if you're having a whole bunch of layers you can name it so that's easier for you to recognize over here in the dialog box the first thing I want to do on this background is make it gradient now I'm going to choose my gradient colors by choosing on these two and this is your color boxes so I want the first color to remain black and I want the second color to be my favorite purple so you choose on and it keeps a history this is the history of the last colors that I used so it keeps 12 colors that you last used so I want to use this one and I'm going to go to the layer that I want to actually do my work on and that's the background so I'm going to choose gradient because I want it to be gradient now I just want it to be a little bit purple so you start about where you want the gradiency to begin and I want it to start in the middle of the picture so you click on and then you drag this line down to where you want the gradient to go so you see the shorter the line the harsher the gradient if I drag it all the way to the bottom you see it'll become more blurred if I go even farther it'll be blurred like that now I want it to be like almost to the bottom so I'm gonna start way down here and just drag it all the way down whoops but you just get, keep going until you get it the way you like it see a very short makes it a sharp line you angle it by going this way and 
that's how you do that so I want it to be like so because I just want a little bit of purple now on the new layer I'm going to go ahead and for this one I did fireworks before so I'm going to do some stars and you can see the brushes how big they are when you click on them and they're usually going to click the first color so you want to switch those by clicking those two arrows I'm sorry this is all over the place but I'm not really good at these tutorials but anyway let's get back to it okay so now I want the color that I'm going to be brushing a little bit lighter so I'll choose that and then we'll, well actually I'll choose something even lighter because it's I'm gonna do stars okay so on this layer I'm just you know putting the stars wherever I want and you cannot change the size of the brushes you will have to edit the proportions of the scale of the image itself which you would do here image scale image and then you can make it bigger or smaller see if I make it smaller the brushes will look bigger see like so and you just have to keep messing with it like that that's the only way that I know how to make it bigger if you want to go back to making small stars which see we'll put like a little star over here and one over there and one over there and you see this is all on this third layer see and if I take the background it's just like that but yeah that's basically how you make a background from one image onto another that's just real basic um, I'm going to be doing these nerdy blogs I guess a little bit more often because I do want to help the girls that don't really know how to make their pictures and their videos um, kind of fancy help give them some tips on how to make their pictures and videos better so if you like this thumbs up if you have any requests please leave a comment and thanks so much for watching y'all have a great day and have a great new year's too